All right, time now for another check of your get ready weather forecast with 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir. You probably didn't need to start your garden this weekend. No, absolutely but, not. Uh, I mean, I, I know what they <laughs> said. I'd still give it a couple of weeks because climatologically we can still see hard freezes through about mid April in Northwest mm. Arkansas. So maybe better safe than sorry. Yeah. But I don't know. Seeds are so cheap. I mean, you could buy pumpkin seeds for like 35 cents now, but <laughs> we don't have time to get into that. Uh, we do have time to get into the forecast, though, and it's going to be a busy week ahead across the area uh, in terms of the weather department. We will see temperatures really start to warm up, uh, really starting tomorrow and lasting through a good part of the upcoming work week. We're also looking at several rain chances Tuesday through Friday, and some of those could feature thunderstorms as well. Yeah, we're talking about that severe weather as we get toward the second half of the week. We'll talk about in a second. We talked about that warm up. Look at some of these high temperatures back into the 70s and 60s for highs across Northwest Arkansas by the middle of the week. It, it, warmer, but still a little bit on the chilly side Monday and Tuesday. Overnight lows really warming up here, especially by midweek. Uh, we could actually see some overnight lows rising through the night. Uh, that does happen every now and then. River Valley about the same thing, mid to upper 70s both Wednesday and on Thursday, take you outside to Eureka Springs right now. Things are nice and quiet. They had their big St. Patrick's Day parade yesterday, where right now temperatures up in Carroll County, mostly in the lower 40s and lower 40s just about everywhere across northwest Arkansas. Right now atop Cavanaugh Hill and Poto, things are nice and quiet, maybe just a little bit of haze uh, out there on the distance. But look with all the recent rains and warm temperatures, things are starting to green up. Uh, probably a 50 50 balance here between what's still brown and what's green. Uh, and in Poto right now, we are looking at a temperature of 47 degrees, 48. Good evening to our friends in Alma and Boonville. And in the mountains of Scott County, 45 right now is your temperature in Waldron. We will be nice and quiet tonight. Another chilly night, not as cold as last night, obviously, where uh, Drakefield got down to, I believe it was 18. Uh, we'll be in the 30s. Clouds quickly increasing throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, morning sunshine and then the rest of the day should be mostly cloudy or considerable cloudiness. And then as we get toward Tuesday morning, we start to watch our first batch of rainfall that will roll through here. Maybe a couple of weak thunderstorms far northwest Arkansas into southwest Missouri. The, the more important show most likely will get here Thursday night and into Friday. SPC now highlighting areas along and west of Highway 71 for the best chance right now to see strong to severe uh, thunderstorms. We'll keep an eye on this. This will be tweaked. Remember, today's only Sunday. We're talking about Thursday night. So many days to iron out the details of that late week forecast. Mid 20s tonight in northwest Arkansas and in the River Valley, a handful of degrees warmer. Upper 20s for the most part across the River Valley. Still do, though, have that freeze warning through tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for uh, the mountains of the Washita's and temperatures tomorrow warming up nicely back up into the 50s to near 60. Quick look at the extended forecast features. A couple of impact days right now. Uh, we'll, like I said, we're keeping a close eye on that Thursday into Friday time frame, but temperatures warming up much more uh, closer to average for this time of the year in the River Valley. Pretty much the same thing. Some showers Tuesday, better chances for widespread heavy rain and storms Thursday and into Friday. Stay with us. Brandon has got all your sports news that you need to know after the break.